Morning break. A competition to see who can create the best artwork from repurposed materials will also help provide affordable home ownership in Effingham County. Kate Rapp is the manager of the Habitat for Humanity Restore in Rinkin. That's where people can buy the materials, vote for, and purchase finished artwork in the fourth annual Recreate competition. She's here this morning with details on, on how to enter and, and support this fantastic event that does so much for a great cause out in Effingham. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. So this is maybe a new form of artwork, kind of making something from something that already exists and making it look completely different. Yeah, I mean, you, you could say that, but it's kind of like uh, along with the DIY trends, you know, people coming in and doing their own home renovations, that sort of thing. So um, essentially what it is, is you just take items from the store, you check them out from us, we, you fill out a form, you take them home, you make something out of it, you bring it back for the contest, and then we silent auction off the items. All of those benefits go towards Habitat. Uh, that's, uh, that's a great partnership with the store is that you are there to support Habitat for Humanity in Effingham County, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, all of the uh, proceeds and um, money that we make goes towards the building of the houses that they're doing right now in Guyton. What type of items do you have in the store that really lend themselves to kind of repurposing? Um, we actually have like a lot of furniture and stuff that people generally refinish. Um, we have a gentleman that enters every year. He painted a mural on a door one year. Um, so we have a lot of different things in there that um, you can just kind of take creative license with and create whatever you want out of it. And it's, it's really kind of a, a blank canvas, for, uh, so to speak, for people, right? They can do anything with this. Yeah, this there's, there's no limits on what you can make, what you can do. Uh, just 51% of your items have to come from the store for okay. the contest. Fantastic. And then how are they judged? So it's actually people come in and they vote on them. So the last, the weekend in August that ends in the 22nd, people come in, they just write their vote down on a slip of paper, they put it in the jar, and uh, we count them up at the end of the day on the 22nd to find out who won. Neat. But uh, there is an entry deadline, though, that you want uh, folks to get their, their work in by. Yes. So um, all of our entries are going to be turned in the 13th through the 15th in April. April, okay, mm -hmm. and then the judging process comes after that? Yep, it's the week after. Right. Everybody can come in and they can put their vote in and then we count them up at three o'clock on the 22nd. Right. The 22nd is when you're gonna announce the winners. Are, are there mm -hmm. categories or are there the overall winner? It's, How does it work? It's, uh, we just have first, second, and third place winners. Um, if we have enough um, younger people enter, we will separate it into like a, a kids and teens. Um, right now, we only just have adults this year. Okay. Um, I think we have um, one uh, child that's entering with his mother. They do a group project every oh, year. Sweet. Yeah, it's cool. They won, I think, second place last year. What are some of the more imaginative uh, items that you've seen uh, do well in the contest before? Um, we had a mosaic table made where somebody mosaic tiled the top. Wow. Um, we had a um, terrarium made out of chicken wire. We've had... Um, lamps made, jellyfish lamps made out of uh, <laughs> glass bowls. Uh, so we've had a lot of different really cool stuff. We so actually have a lady that makes gourd art every year. Gourd yes, she, art, she, really? Yeah, she incorporates gourds into it and she enters every year and she's a wonderful lady. And, and you have the gourds at oh, yeah. your store? Oh mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> yep, I actually bought one of them. It was a little, uh, she made a dragon out of a candle holder and wow. a gourd and uh, uh, I, I purchased him because I liked him, so I have him in my office. Okay. People's creativity is just amazing. Uh, they can yeah. see one thing and turn it into something completely different. That's, yeah, uh, it's, that's it's really, really awesome to see what people come up with. And what's also awesome is just how this supports, uh, you know, really getting people in homes that will be their family home. Yeah, I mean, um, Habitat is currently building two houses right now in Guyton. So um, we're hoping that some of the benefits for this contest are going to go to supplies or, you know, building materials like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Habitat does such great work everywhere, especially, you know, when it's so active in a smaller community, uh, you know, yeah. like Effingham County. It's, it becomes even more important, doesn't it? It really does, yeah. So, and, and important to support. So if you think you want to try your hand at making something, go ahead out uh, yeah. to the store, get your materials, and build whatever you can. Think we'll, we'll yeah, we'll, we'll take all the entries we can get. <laughs> Fantastic. Kate, thank you so much. And uh, good luck with the contest. Thank you. I know it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe we'll come back and see who, who's done the, you know, the best work. Yeah, that would be there. great. That would be so if fun. If it's not already sold by then. Right, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, let's say